Welcome fellow travelers, it's Mickey Fold. Today is April 20th, 2023, and I'm doing this video in honor of my grandma, Jean Marilyn Teal, who would be 92 today, and she passed away March 6th of this year, so it's been a little over a month. I have to say, my grandma would be very upset that she didn't make it to 100. However, she's had dementia for quite a while, so she kind of hasn't been here anyway. However, I wanted to, like I said, celebrate her. She was born in 1931 in Los Angeles, California, and her parents divorced when she was two and a half. And so she lived in a house with her mom, her aunt, and her grandmother and her grandfather. Her grandmother passed when she was 17 and her and her grandmother were really close. So it's kind of like a family tradition that uh, I, the children are really close to their grandmothers. And I was very close to my grandma. My grandma ended up marrying my grandfather, uh, John, and her last name ended up becoming Hedge. And she was a school teacher, so that worked out really well because I was actually born in 1975, and as soon as I came out of the hospital, was in their house. My father was in the military, and my mom was home pregnant with me, and uh, so I kind of basically grew up with my grandmother and my grandfather, even when my grand my dad came home my grandmother like i said was a school teacher so she had you know vacation time off and my mom doesn't really care much for me to put it nicely so because i was kind of hyper and i got told i was a little much all the time growing up so my mom would send me to my grandma's which was super awesome because my grandma was very active and we'd go to the beach together we go everywhere together and my grandma treated me like a little tiny human she didn't treat me like a little weird kid i was the first of the grandkids so i got lots of attention we go to their cabin, all, all sorts of stuff. We were just inseparable. The picture that's the thumbnail in this video uh, kind of shows you everything you need to know about our relationship. So she's about 44, 45 there, depending on how old I was in that picture. Um, so I'm just a couple years older at this point. So, but I, I love that picture because, you know, we're looking at each other and, you know, that's kind of how we've always looked at each other. And, you know, I can't say enough good things about my grandmother. Um, she was there for me. She supported me. She loved me. Everybody should have somebody in her their life that is as loving and as supportive as she was for me. So it was an honor for me to move here. I moved to Brookings, Oregon, to from Southern California to spend the last years of my grandma's life with her and um the past couple of years or year and a half she's had dementia and so she kind of hadn't been there as much and especially like in the last six months wasn't there at all but even when she couldn't remember who i was and when i was helping take care of her she'd always tell me what a good girl i was and what a nice person i was and you know asked me why you know i was so good to her and that sort of stuff so even though she didn't know who i was she still liked me and we still got along like peas and carrots so I don't know what happens to us when we die. I, I really don't. My grandma is actually the one who started me on the traveling, the journey that I you know, welcome you guys as fellow travelers. Uh, she introduced me to uh, the Church of Religious Science, which is not the same as Christian Science. Um, the Church of Religious Science, she introduced me to Shirley MacLaine and all this esoteric stuff. And between her and my great grandmother, uh, my great grandmother is actually her mother got me really involved with crystals I in rocks and stones and all that stuff so I and my great grandmother was an astrologer besides you know doing office work and that sort of stuff so they kind of got me on my start for curiosity and to kind of look at the world and like I said I don't know what happens to us when we leave but I do know that every day I will miss my grandma and I don't, you know, know, like I said, what I would do without her. And wherever she is, I hope she's happy 
I hope she, you know, has no aches, no pains. And I hope she knows how much I love her. And I wish everybody could have known her and seen her like I did. And thanks for tuning in. Peace, love, namaste.